All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Mike here at the Da Shihe East Station of the newly opened Yanfang Line here in Beijing's southwestern suburb. And over here we see a map of the new subway. So the line that we're introducing is this line over here. We have nine stations covering a total distance of 14.4 kilometers and it is China's first homegrown self-driving subway and what also makes this different is it's an elevated subway All right so we're gonna go upstairs and uh, take a look over here is the sign showing what is the first train and the last train so as you can see the first train departs uh, from at 540 and the last train is at 1105 all right so we're gonna go upstairs now Oh, is that the station manager? Hello. Hello, how are you? Okay, so this is Mr. Chen Shuo, who is the station master, and uh, he will be introducing some of the features of his lovely station today. Okay, welcome to uh, Da Shi Dong, Dong Station. Yeah, this is uh, Yanfeng Line, uh, one of the nine stations. Yeah, um, welcome, uh, let's together uh, go into the station, okay? All right, so usually, you know, when we go into the subway, we're going down underground, but because this is an elevated subway, we're going up. Isn't that right, station? Yeah, yeah this station has um, two exits, um, at the a, a side and the B side. Yeah, you, you can you can get uh, uh, this station uh, outside is a, a, a big stone river. It's the function uh, the mother mother river. Oh, so it's it's an actual river called Big Stone River. Oh, that's cool. All right, so let's just uh, wait for our camera crew to also come up here. Ah, I see this is the ticketing center. So I actually, I have this card with me, right? So if I want to buy a ticket, I would put it inside here. Here? Yeah, okay. Check it here. All righty. into there. Yeah. Okay. Okay. the balance. Oh, so few left. Yeah, yeah. You try to work here, your cash. Okay, so does it take any kind of all values? Yeah. Okay, over here. Yeah, yeah. Let's save the environment okay. and don't print out a paper receipt. Awesome. So, so I have. Okay. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Awesome. Thank you so much. So cool. So very, very cool. simple way. Okay. All right, guys. So now that I've recharged my card, I'm going to go through security. We'll let all of our, hello, our lovely security officers, make sure that I'm not a dangerous criminal. Oh, something ran. <laughs> All right, thank you so much. So now I don't have a bag right now, but if I did, I would uh, take it from the conveyor belt over here. All right, so let's go into the platform. We'll just swipe my card here. All right, and I hop on through. Oh, this is awesome. Very, very easy, very, very simple. And now let's head up onto the station. Okay, by the way, the station has the uh, four, uh, four floor. You can, this is a uh, concourse. This is a platform. And the two, two floor is the uh, 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 Alright, so uh, one of the floors uh, in the subway line is an experimental platform and it is the only one in the country. Alright, so this is the only and first line to introduce this kind of indoor waiting hall. The indoor waiting hall, because, you know, outside it's an elevated rail, it's quite cold, especially during winter, like a day today. <laughs> it's very, very cold. But inside, right, we can see, oh, it's so warm. Yeah. 是非常的暖和舒适。您可以看到啊，咱们这个玻璃幕墙的这个乘客候车室，虽说只有这这么小的地方，但是可以说是五脏俱全。This is a very cozy area. You see the passengers; they can sit here and wait for the train outside. They don't have to brave the cold. Um, and over on this side, we have the 
AC, which will be turned to you know, having some warm air conditioning in the winter and cold air conditioning in the summer. Uh, and again, we have the big map here. I like that it's <laughs> no smoking, no littering. Keep the, keep the place clean. All right, this is a very, very cozy area. All right, thank you so much. All right, so again, this is a sign for the breastfeeding room, and any mothers who want to breastfeed, they can contact a member of the staff, and they will lead you to the room. All right, now, so uh, are we, are we going to take a look in here or no? So this is the station control center. The station control center. I hope you don't mind that we go, we go inside. Okay. All right. So we're just going to take a quick look. All right. All right, well, there you have it. This is uh, some of the major features of the new Yanfeng line stations. And now we're just going to wait for the next train to come. And then we're going to take a look inside the driving compartment and to see how exactly is this new train self-driving. All right, this is Xinhua Live. Alright guys, so the uh, train has pulled into the station, so let's head on into the head of the train. Huh, I wonder how to get on. We're going to wait for the conductor to come from that side. And then I guess we can open the door. Oh, it's locked. <laughs> We're going to wait for the staff member to come and open the door for us. Oh, it's heading down this way. Okay. Let's go down this way and then see what, what happens here. All right, now, so we have the special privilege of checking out the head of the train. Now, usually this is off limits to passengers and the public. All right. Let's knock on the door. Hello. All right, guys, so we have entered the driving compartment of the newly opened Yanfeng line in Beijing's southwestern suburbs. Now, uh, as you can see, we have one staff member. Uh, we can't talk to him because he's doing a very professional job, and it's, it's a violation to <laughs> actually speak to the, to the staff member. Oh, sorry. Oh. I guess we're getting a new driver because we have just reached the terminus station. And what you're seeing now is the first station of the new Yanfeng Line. As you can see here, we have a conductor. So now all of the uh, staff members of this line are actually train conductors, but because this is a self-driving train, they don't actually have to do any of the manual, manual machines over here. You can see um, you can you can see that there is a cover, <coughs> so all of the controls are inside, right? So unless there is an emergency, they don't have to open up this this uh, cabinet here, right? But they're here just in case. Right, as you can see, he's doing hand signals to make sure that all of the all of the line is lined up correctly. And we've taken off. Now what makes the Yanfeng line different from a lot of the other subway lines in Beijing is that it is built as an elevated rail instead of underground. And this is because, you know, we're in the suburban areas and there's a lot of room and not a lot of buildings, so we can afford to, you know, take a look at the scenery instead of, you know, run into the skyscrapers if we're in the middle of the city. So in the middle of the city, they're all underground, but here, they're above ground. 
So we are entering the next station right here. The entire line is 14.4 kilometers. And it takes about one and a half minutes to travel between one station to the next. And the conductor has just announced our arrival into this next station. And he's doing his hand signals uh, to ensure that everything is normal. All right, and we've pulled into the next station. And as you can see, the doors are aligned automatically. Right? He doesn't have to get off to do it manually like in the, in the city's other lines. All right, and just to reiterate, this is China's homegrown technology. This was developed and created independently in China. Right, and this is a, uh, a testament to Chinese innovation. If you're joining us just now, we are doing a live broadcast for Xinhua News Agency on the very new Yenfeng subway line, which is actually an elevated rail, and it is self-driving. And it opened just around half a month ago. Brand new, brand new line. And you're getting a shot of our staff members being hard at work. As we reiterated, um, these two staff members are trained conductors on this, uh, on this self-driving line. So essentially, they don't have to do the driving. They just oversee all of the operations. And unless there's an emergency, which it, I mean, no emergency has happened so far. They they just you know stand here and they'll take in the beautiful scenery um, and do some hand signals when they're pulling to the station to make sure that everything is normal. And these kind of compartments that we're in right now, there are two in each train, one at the front and one at the end. There's actually not that much of a difference between the front and the end. It's just uh, when they travel in one direction, this is the front, that's the end. When it reaches the terminal station, it does a flip and then it's uh, the end becomes the front and the front becomes the end. So I guess we're leaving from this side? Okay, will you open the door for us? <laughs> or from here? Okay. All right, thank you. Are we allowed to go? Oh. Hi, everyone. All right, hey guys, so now we are here in the passenger section of the new Yanfang line. And if you're joining us just now, we are at uh, doing Xinhua Live broadcast for the new Yanfang line, which has just opened in Beijing's southwestern suburbs. Uh, now, this is one of the newest lines in Beijing, and it is an elevated rail that is completely self-driving, as we have just shown you um, in the driving section. And as we can see, uh, not a lot of passengers at this time of the day, but when it's rush hour, there will be more passengers. And I just want to show you some of the features. Uh, so over here we have the subway map showing you, and we are currently in the section over here. All right, um, and then we have, you know, as with all the Beijing subways, we have the big TV screen. Where you can watch some shows during your travel time. Okay, so one thing that's different about this line is you see the map here. This is made out of an LCD screen. Usually it's, you know, made out of paper, but this one, you know, is brand new. It's LCD. Uh, let's take a look at some of the safety features. Oh, and the door. The door lines up automatically. See, it doesn't require any, any kind of manual lining up, uh, which is different from the lines in central Beijing. All right, and we can see the, the logo here for the Beijing MTR Operations Administration which this line operates under. And you can see the, all of the different stations that we're heading to. So nine stations in total. OK, so I want to show you guys some of the safety features. <laughs> is there a staff member here? Hello, wave hi. OK, so over here is where, if there's an emergency, the uh, member of the public, the passenger, can interact with the control center through this intercom. 
and then once we start talking to this intercom, if I can get the camera to take a look at the, the CCTV camera over here, the, the CCTV camera over here. So this CCTV camera will start um, turn and project the image of the passenger speaking to the control center so that the control center would know who it is who is making the emergency call. All right, so, uh, and again, this entire line is 14.4 thousand kilometers in total, and it runs nine stations. And this is an elevated rail, so we can see the scenery outside. <clears throat> You can see some suburban housing. All right, this is the southwestern suburbs of Beijing. All right, hey, you how long have you been here? Ah, ah, we this time, you know, this is a completely own Okay, so we just interviewed this member of the public. She did not actually know that this was the self-driving train. Uh, Alright, so our passenger said that although she does not know too much about uh, the technology, she feels that this is a very good design because, you know, this is a very cold area of the city and all of the uh, stations have an indoor waiting area where which is heated. And then we can also try out the seats here. So the seats are all very warm, they're all heated, which is very nice and uh, our passengers really liked this kind of experience. All right, now I want to test the stability of this train. So I prepared a glass and I'm going to fill it with water to see what would be the effect. All right, if we can get a close up shot of this glass of water, you can see it is barely moving, right? There are barely any waves and this goes to show how steady this train really is. And as we saw in the cabin earlier, it has the capacity of going up to over 100 kilometers an hour, but usually it is only maybe around 50 to 70 kilometers per hour. And if we can get a close up shot of this glass of water, you can see that the waves are barely, barely moving. Extremely, extremely steady. And as the train comes to a stop, let's see how the brakes would affect the water. Extremely smooth as well. Barely any movement. All right, guys, it's time to get off the train. We have reached our final destination. And we're just going to wait for the doors to open. All right, come on down. All right, ladies and gentlemen, you have just watched the Xinhua Love broadcast of the new Yanfang line in the southwestern suburbs of Beijing. Now, this is China's homegrown technology, which is an elevated rail, and it is also a self-driving subway. It is the only such model in the entire country. Now, after taking this, uh, this train, I have several feelings. You know, not only is the technology the first of its kind in China and developed in China, but the station is also designed to be very, very humane. There's a wide range of very good designs, for example, having the indoor heated waiting area as well as the breastfeeding rooms for the mother. So I would give uh, this train five stars. Uh, and yeah, thank you very much for watching our live broadcast. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on our social media platforms of Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And we will see you next time.